Welcome back to the Pursuit of Accuracy. I'm Josh, and today we're gonna to be doing two things. We're gonna be playing around, uh, looking to see what ammo I might have that shoots pretty decent out of the Kid Super Grade 1022 base build here. And uh, also gonna be showing you this scope. Now, I've had this for a little while, been playing with it, but uh, wanted to get it on scope camera for you guys today. This is the Athlon Ares ETR. This is their second focal plane, I know. Big shocker uh, for the channel here. But this is the 15 to 60, so this is very much a bench rest scope. Um, as you're going to see when we fire up the scope camera, it's a very fine reticle. We have eighth inch click adjustments here. So very fine tuning and uh, very much a bench rest setup. Uh, but we're gonna play with a semi-auto today. And uh, let's get this fired up. And uh, we're just gonna see, I have no idea. I haven't uh, done anything with this to zero it. So we're just gonna first take a look-see and uh, let's back this out. All right, we're gonna shoot right about there. And it is crazy, crazy low. I think I have this maxed out from another gun with a whole lot of MOA built into the base. Let's see. All right, now we're closer. We're about five MOA low, I think. Okay, we're still a couple MOA low. And let's go to the paper. Let's get this girl zoomed in a little bit. We are at 30 power there. See how this looks for you guys. Let's see where we're at on paper here. We're just going to that top left cider. We are way low. Four and a half MOA. Got a little bit of wind here. Okay. We're about two MOA to the left. All right, we overshot it. We're getting her there, we're probably out of ammo. Yep. Who'd have thunk it? See how these 15 rounder speed, if we can get the thing in there. Should be getting pretty dialed now. So, does look close enough and doesn't appear to like the SK rifle match too much. So, let's go over to some SK semi-auto. Now, last time I did videos with this was quite a while ago. Actually, well, I think I've done some here in North Carolina, but I first showed this rifle off in Missouri. I had some SK long-range match that this thing just absolutely hammered. So, I know this rifle is 100% capable. Now, we're up dang near at max magnification 50 yards you can see how thin that center dot is really nice actually about the same size as the center dot of that ARA target man it hates this stuff starting to come in surprisingly enough uh, look like it may have been coming in so we're gonna drop down shoot five more here we're 
go over. We're gonna go to the bottom now. Okay, yeah, certainly not the best. We're gonna skip some of these other ones. We're gonna go straight to something we haven't tested like ever. We have some Lapua long range. And I'll get back on this scope here in a second, show you guys this magnification range. Does parallax down to, I think, all the way down to 10 yards. And adjustments are really smooth does come with a big focus wheel. You are going to get the throw lever. Um, let's see here, let me back this out. I'm kind of working my way around the, the scope there. So there we have 15 power, and we're gonna come all the way in to an out of focus 60 power. So you have quite a lot of adjustment here. We're gonna back this back out. Find our 50 yard target. All right, and let's see if the Lapua long range can do anything for us. Oh, did have a malfunction there. Welcome to 1022s. And I say that, it's probably just dirty. Okay, not too bad. Let's move over one. Wow. Yeah, nothing real great so far. Our last hope here is the RWS rifle match. Now, uh, if this doesn't pan out, I may have to go back to the drawing board. Like I said, I haven't really ordered ammo for this. This is just ammo I had laying around. Um, so far, it doesn't seem to like really any of this. I mean, depending on what you're trying to do, it, it would be okay for sure, but nothing uh, nothing great. We're kind of looking for that point threes here. Okay, a little hope there, we're gonna go up one. I've seen worse. I'm gonna follow up with five more here. Probably about 0.35s. Bring this in a little bit. This does okay. We'll run it on the KYL. But uh, let's see here. Got magnification dialed up a little bit more. Are dealing with some wind, so. Whoa. Wow. Flyer City on that one. Well, we're gonna shoot the KYL. I'm not gonna use the expensive stuff. Uh, 
Not if it's going to have flyers like that. So we're going to shoot some Norma TAC 22. I'll shoot a couple here just to make sure we're somewhat close. This is made by RWS. And then we're going to go after that KYL. I don't think we'll have too many problems. Oh, I have a problem chambering it apparently. Let's see. feeding problems here. Wow, this uh, so far is not going that great. Okay, so it's going to be a little bit low, doesn't really like to feed, let's see if it works better out of the 15 round mag, but so far been impressed with the scope, if you're looking at doing some bench rest stuff without spending a million dollars, this is a very good option, this does hover around the thousand dollar price point. And uh, shameless plug to our channel sponsors, Utah Air Guns. They are really good people to deal with. Extremely good prices, very fast shipping. And uh, we certainly appreciate them sponsoring us. Let's see. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Wow. It's like a quadruple, triple feed problem. I uh, doubt this is going to run whatsoever. We're going to back the magnification off. Yeah, chances of this making it through are slim to none. Come on. All right. This is what I despise about 1022s. Now don't get me wrong, you can find the right magazines, um, and part of it's probably magazines, part of it's this ammo. This stuff, I mean, is unbelievably waxy. I mean, it's crazy. The action was already dirty, but you know, this stuff doesn't happen in bolt guns or uh, AR pattern semi-autos. See, we got a video come on that. I think we're on the third one. That yeah, runs it though. Just goes to show you, you don't need an absolute hammer to hit steel, especially at 50 yards, an NRL style target, like 50 yard KYL. But uh, first look at this, there'll be more. There is a gun that I wanna to put together to specifically use this and it won't be uh, Kid 1022. And obviously as far as that goes, we really didn't find any ammo that hammered out of this today. Uh, more looking and you know, as you guys have seen in other videos, this rifle, it really shoots really, really well, but it only does it with the right ammunition and we didn't have the right ammunition today. Um, it is a little bit picky. I will say that about this. These rounds are total junk. Um, and yeah, so more to come on the KID 1022, more to come on the Athlon Ares bench rest. I really do enjoy this. I don't use uh, these second focal planes a lot but having that super thin reticle and having the super fine adjustment certainly does help. Again, I'm going to put together a bench rest gun for this. I don't know when that's gonna happen, uh, but in the future that will come and you will see the scope again. I do think that this is worth buying if you're looking at getting into something like bench rest. You could use this for just regular shooting too if you don't mind the thin reticle, but best use is going to be probably 50-yard AR event shooting. Appreciate you guys watching. We'll catch you on the next one.